Hello, how are you guys today? Today I have a video on my favorite brushes um, and why they're my favorite brushes. Um, so we'll start with the face brushes. Um, so I did a, a little bit dirty. I just cleaned them yesterday and I use them today. So this is my favorite brush. This is from Real Techniques. This is a face brush and it's basically you can use it for your blush, for your powder, and anything that goes on your face. And it's a total face brush, like it says it, um, multi-tassel, sorry, multi-task brush. And it comes with one of their kits, and it is so nice. I really, really like it. It gives you such a good finish, and it is so wonderful for under your eyes right here. I think that is the best, and I love it because it's round. And I never really had a round brush, so, and it hasn't really shedded that much. I think it shed like one or two hairs, but I don't think it was even hair from this brush. I, because look, it, it's so nice, it's so soft, and it doesn't really shed, so that's a plus, and I love brushes that don't shed. And then, I'm gonna put them on top of me. Another face brush is this. Um, this is a angled blush brush, but I actually use it for um, my powder foundation. It works really well. Um, it works well with, with blush, too, so I really like it for both of them, and my favorite brush. And this one it has never shed a hair, but I, I was so disappointed. I bought another one from Equal Tools and it shed it. It was so disappointing. Um, I don't know why it shed it. This one has never shed a hair and I had it for a year or so already. So it is, I don't know, just sad. And another face brush is this one. Um, this is the stippling brush from Elf and it was really, really nice. I really, really like it. And I don't think this has, it hasn't shed hair either, actually. I never really pay attention to it, but it, I don't think it has shed hair, so it's like this. And these are like the $3 ones, so it's the, the studio ones or something like that. But yeah, I really, really like the finish of it. And I use like um, my creams for that, so like my, um, I was using it with my foundation, my liquid foundation, so yeah. Um, another face brush is this one. This one is one of those ones you get from Walmart from those Christmas kits. Um, I'm not saying it's the best, but I really, really like it for blush. I like it how small it is, and you can just apply your blush on it. And that is why I like it. I don't like it because, oh, I don't need to like call high-end brushes. But this was really nice. I think this was like $2 for the kit. This is like the only one I actually like from the kit. So it doesn't really matter, I don't really care, and it works really well, and it is soft, it is super soft from being from those kids actually, so just rub your blush in there, and it's, I love these kind of brushes for blush, that I rarely use blush, but yeah. And this one's from Real Techniques, this is um, for uh, foundation, this is probably the best brush ever, it does not really leave lines, like Real Techniques, I just found found them out and they are amazing I really liked it so this one came with the other brush too so this is an essential foundation brush and it's really really nice really do recommend it and it has like white hairs but since I used it already today it's like that and moving on to the eyebrows um, I really really like this one from Eagle Tools this is a lash and brow, and brow and it is really nice. I basically just use this side to brush out when I put on my um, powder foundation. To take off all the excess powder I have on there. So, moving on to another real technique brush. This one is so nice. This is, I don't know, it's just a shallow brush. But really, when I'm in a hurry and I just want a s easy smoky eye, I put on on my lid and then I grab like a black or a darker shade and I do it in my crease and then it's ready to go. It is such a nice brush. It's big. I know that it's not going to give you the same as a blending brush, but seriously, you will fall in love with this. So I really, really recommend this one too, which is nice. I love how Real Techniques has this and then the brush. I just wish that their brushes matched the color of each set. I don't know, that's my opinion. I hate mismatching. I like matching everything. That's why I always got equal tools because they all matched by this. And this is a brush you have to get. I'm probably going to go have to get a new one because I have used it up so, so much. This is a double-ended brush. 
Uh, Double-ended brushes are really not my favorite kind of brushes, but this one is probably the most useful brush you can ever have. So if you're just going on a trip or going out of town and you need to do your makeup in your car, you just need one brush. This is all you need. Seriously, all you need. For your shade, you can put this on for your um, lid and then blend it with the blending pen for your smokiness. Or for blending anything. This is, seriously, I cannot live, I, if I lose this brush, I freak out because it is so nice. So that is that brush. And this comes with two, so there's two dual ones. and I. To tell you the truth, I only use this one out of the little set. I, it's because this comes with this one, another one, and six dollars. It is totally worth it. And yeah, those were all my favorite brushes. So these ones are all my favorite brushes for right now. And my hair is always everywhere. I lose so much hair all the time. And yes, these are my favorite brushes. I recommend every single one of them to you guys because they leave an amazing finish. And you can work with all of them, even for multitasking, seriously. You can use this for concealer, not do that. You can use this for blush, not this foundation. You can even blend in that cream, that creamy blush they have with this, the Cipollin brush. You can, this one, you can do lots of stuff. Blending, blending, and blending, and of course, putting on your shade. This one, it's just not for blush, it's for foundation, powder foundation. This one, I use it for blending. This one is just, I just use it for eyebrows, basically. And this one, you can use it for foundation, powder foundation, and blush, and bronzer. So, you can use most of these brushes for multitasking. So, it's really nice when you can multitask with some brushes and that are good quality. So, these are all the brushes I recommend for yourself and that you need in your life. So, that was it, you guys. That's my whole video. I hope you enjoyed it and you get some of these brushes because they're amazing. Have a good one.